I started a long time ago in 1981 in Paris. And uh, I didn't want to uh, imitate American graffiti because uh, we, we have, in France, we have our own culture. And uh, at that time in 1981, I felt that it was not, uh, it was not uh, appropriate to make uh, tags or uh, pieces in the street of Paris because the architecture is completely different uh, than in New York and uh, also the culture. And, uh, so uh, I tried to introduce a, a new way of thinking. In 1981, I made only uh, rats in the streets because Paris was full of rats. And uh, I read somewhere that uh, there is more rats in Paris than people living in the city. So uh, I was very impressed by that. And I, want, I wanted to say to the French people, to the Parisian, that, uh, oh yes, your city is beautiful, it's old city and uh, everything is beautiful, but you have to know also that beneath, beneath the, 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 the city, uh, there is a society of uh, wild animals living, uh, and uh, you don't even know that there are millions of rats uh, in the caves of, this, of the buildings or in the, in the subway or uh, everywhere in Paris, you know. So uh, uh, they asked me to make many rats on a piece of uh, wood and uh, so I tried to uh, mix the rats with a, with a character, uh, a guy playing violin which remind maybe the story of the man who was um, playing flute. And uh, I, think it's a, it's a, I think it's a German story, you know, that it was in a village in the Middle Age and uh, the, the village was full, was full of rats. And the people from the village asked to the one man to, um, to play music, to, uh, to uh, attract the rat, to kill them, and they, for this reason, they, they 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 said to the guy, "We're gonna give you money if you can do that." And the guy did. He make it, you know. He he attracted the rats and killed the rats, and uh, the people from the, from the village didn't give him the money that he deserved for that. It's an old story, uh, but it's a true story from the middle age.